So, Senior Rotax for the final time in 2015. It's Sam Marsh and Luke Knott on the front row with Danny Russell and Scott Mackerel. Connor Hall lines up alongside Charlie Turner on row three with Gary Donnelly and Matthew Hurst, Morgan Rose and Jack Constable rounding out the top five rows of the starting grid. Plenty to keep an eye on, including Josh Collings in 16th on the starting grid, lining up beside Jamie Alexander. So watch for Josh making his way through the grid. But this championship's already sewn up. It's the number five, Sam Marsh, who is the Super One champion in Rotax Max for the 2015 season. So this final race of the year is just a little bit of fun as far as he's concerned. Nothing to play for and we've got a stall on the grid. That's Danny Russell. Danny Russell's not got away. Oh and we've got contact. Somebody going into the back there. Now who was that? We've got an off at turn one as well. It was Carol Van Boisikum I think has gone out of the race there after a contact with Danny Russell on the start. Jack Constable as well has spun off through turn one. That was Jake. Jack Constable there. Sam Marsh leads it. He is already the champion. Now he cannot lose the championship. Whatever happens here, if you can prove that you've won the championship by, it, well, in anything other than, I'll explain why in a minute, in anything other than uh, the cadet classes, if you can prove you've already won a championship coming into the final round, at the penultimate round, whatever happens here, even if Sam Marsh was excluded from the meeting, he doesn't have to count the points. He's already won the championship. They changed the rules years ago, so champions can still come and race at the final round. We want to see them here racing at the final round. He can have a go. He can try and win the race, go out in style. Uh, now, I just want to clarify as well, in Honda Cadet and Iami Cadet, not quite the case. You have to be more than 10 points ahead in those classes because there's a race and respect campaign from the MSA which means that you could still get a 10 point penalty at the final round so uh, in I think it was in Dexter Patterson's case for example he has actually won a championship in IAMI Cadet but um, he was less than 10 points ahead coming in I believe which means that uh, if there was some sort of issue at the final round here and he was kicked out on uh, a problem with, I don't know, abuse of another driver, something like that, he could have still lost the championship. That's not been the case, though. Well, as a result of that uh, jostling on the first couple of laps, Marsh is down to fourth position now. Hurst is through to third position. The 61 of Charlie Turner's up to second, and your new race leader is the 44, Luke Knott. So there's some great battling on the first couple of laps of this race. Fifth position tucked up behind Sam Marsh. Couldn't quite see as they come through, but we'll get a read as they come across the line. So it's Knott who leads, Turner second, Hurst third, Marsh down to fourth. It's Mackerel who's there in fifth in front of Gary Donnelly. Hall, Rose and Josh Collings up to ninth place. Jamie Alexander up to P10. Everybody seems to have made the move on uh, a couple of the drivers further down. Stephanie Leverskont, unfortunately, has lost some time on the last lap. She was ninth through the end of the first lap, but she's well out of the top 10 now, I'm afraid to say. Here's Matthew Hurst, third position. You can just spot him through, and it looks as though a couple of drivers making the move there on Scott Mackerel. And it looks as though he's lost two places there, one to Gary Donnelly, one to Connor Hall. So he's drifted a little bit further down the field. But Turner has definitely got 44 Luke Knott in his sights, and he's looking racy. Josh Collins started 16th, he's ninth at the end of that lap, so early doors, he's already made up seven places. So Collins, the former Welsh champion a couple of seasons ago, used to run the C plate on his cart, having a good run today, and he'll be hoping for something better than ninth, to be fair. So down the straight they come once again to the first corner. Not Turner, Hurst, Marsh. Up to fifth, as we know, comes Donnelly. Mackerel's got the place back on Connor Hall. Rose is eighth from Collings and Alexander. It's a shame to see uh, Stephanie the Viscont down to the back of the field with Jack Constable. She seems to be one of a group of drivers. I wonder if there's some kind of sporting code in Venezuela. You have to start your motor racing career in the British karting scene. There's been a whole host of drivers that have done so. Rodolfo Gonzalez, Manuel Maldonado, and now Leviscont. And up to third position, that is Sam Marsh. He's made a textbook overtake there. On to third position, uh, past Matthew Hurst. Very nicely done to get through. Looking at Connor Hall there on the 22, that's Scott Mackerel in front of him and the uh, the seven cart just behind is Collings, as we mentioned earlier on. Luke Knott out front, Charlie Turner. Turner looking for his first win in Super 1. Marsh there, though, in third place, the champion for this season. He'll want to go out on a high. Matthew Hurst on the 96 in fourth. As they go head down across the uh, start-finish line one more time. So Turner's, Turner's made up four places as indeed has Hurst. Collings now made up uh, eight places. He's up to eighth place. 
Jamie Alexander's made up places as well there in ninth. Yeah, Jamie Alexander's made up six places, so full credit to the Scotsman. He's doing a good job charging you through the field as well. In fact, if you look in the back of your picture, you can just about see the two of them charging their way through. And that little group just going through there. As up the inside goes the 85 of Morgan Rose. That puts him up another place. So very nicely done. Not and Turner. Still battling away. Marsh in third position. Matthew Hurst has lost the place now. Down to fifth position. He's gone. Now, who is it that's moved up into fourth place there? I think that might be Mackerel who's got through. The 29. Oh, yes. Oh, no, sorry. Donnelly. Donnelly, the Irishman, has got through into fourth position. So good move from him. And that, of course, has given him a few more points to close him up on Connor Hall. Now, he's got 104.6 at the moment, Donnelly. Connor Hall has 105.6. So that's going to be a crucial game there for Donnelly as he comes across the line. Just one point, but Connor Hall has 105-7, so Connor Hall has lost the place. Gary, Donnelly's, Gary Donnelly's gained one. The pendulum is swinging again. So don't forget, again, a bit like the junior class earlier on, the top three here that finish the top three in the championship. Sam Marsh has already got his ticket to the world finals booked, as indeed has Luke Knott, unless Luke Knott gets excluded from the race as Marsh makes the move on Turner for a second and immediately gives him the push signal, obviously, <laughs> why wouldn't you? And uh, Connor Hall there in third. It's between Hall and Donnelly pretty much for that third spot at the World Finals. At the moment, it's Hall, but uh, still plenty of racing to go in this one. Jamie Alexander chasing down the Welshman James Johnson as they went through the Fullerton S's. He was looking pretty excited about the prospect of getting through. Needs to find a good overtaking move, but there's plenty of those around the BF International Circuit. Great pictures from the drone camera again as we see a little bit further on into the race. Out of the shots of the camera, it's clear that Charlie Turner has had a bit of a nasty incident or two. He's dropped down the order and through to the lead. Beautifully done there for Marsh as he takes on Not Donnelly, as a result of Turner's misdemeanors, has moved up into third position. And there is Charlie Turner. In fact, you could just see him in the middle of that pack. So he's down around the top ten still, but uh, a long way off this leading quartet. And out in front it is Marsh, Not is in third position now because Donnelly's got through and Connor Hall is now breathing down his neck. Yeah, Connor Hall in the mix now, Charlie Turner's uh, opportunity to win this race has obviously uh, dissipated somewhere out of the shot of the cameras at some point. So it is Marsh that leads it from Donnelly and Not. they're the top three, Marsh looking to go out on a high here but Connor Hall may have other views Whoa. as Marsh loses the lead Donnelly now. absolutely storms it. That was an absolutely cracking overtake through the left-hander. He just kept the speed to the outside and stormed the inside line there. Absolutely magic overtake there from Donnelly. Connor Hall up to third as well, Jake. Danny Russell failed to start. He's now back in seventh place there, Danny. He's had great pace this weekend, it has to be said. But uh, he often uh, suffers from uh, a lot of issues uh, you know if anyone's going to have an issue it's going to be Danny he's, he's quite often got the pace as he's had today qualified P3 and then of course never got away at the start but he's back in the seventh place now here he comes through the shot now so clearly got some decent pace today but uh, looks like seventh place may be all he can achieve Josh Collins in six, they're up ten places. We've got another change for the lead. Yeah, he's just repeated the move. Connor Hall saw Donnelly do it and went right. I can overtake there then. And he's done exactly the same move on Donnelly that uh, Donnelly did on Marsh. And now Not is trying to get through round the outside as well. Connor Hall now your leader. Uh, is he going to go right the way round the outside here, Luke Not? to take third position no he switches back to the inside and Marsh goes straight through he just waves him by no fair enough mate I don't want to get myself out of the race where I've still got plenty of time to catch you and pass you you go I'll just follow you and I'll get you back I'll get you back again in a few corners time yeah unlike some of the other races though where you've got uh, people leading the championship we saw it with Oliver Clark earlier although he was getting involved in all sorts of things I'm not sure why Sam Marsh can get involved in stuff here even on the last lap, because whatever happens, he cannot get excluded and have to count the score. He can't lose the championship, whatever happens. He came into the championship final round with a comfortable lead. He can't be beaten, whatever happens. Well, hang on a minute. Look back. I think Sam Marsh has actually got some issues here. He's dropping back quite rapidly into the path of Scott Mackerel. Mackerel's going to try and come around the outside. And Mackerel is almost driving past him down the straight. Look, he was shifting his body weight, trying to get more power out of the cart down the straight. That's an indoor karting move, not an outdoor karting move. So he seems to have, uh, well, I don't know whether he's got some kind of issues with the engine on the last lap. It's not going to make a blind bit of difference, of course. He'll just finish wherever he ends up crossing the line. But these three have put on a fantastic show out in front. 
And in particular, Connor Hall has well and truly grabbed this victory with both hands, and he's going to go into the winter as the king of senior Rotax for the moment at least. Who knows what he could do in 2016, but he'll be very happy with that. Not crosses the line just in front of Gary Donnelly. All of them had a chance to win today, as too, of course, did Sam Marsh. Josh Collins is fifth in front of Mackerel. Russell, a great comeback. Turner, Hurst and Alexander rounding out the top ten. Great end to the season. Connor, one of the youngest drivers in, in the field. You've had a fantastic season, finishing third overall. That last race was really tough. You just managed to break away from Gary and Luke and Sam at the end. Yeah, well, we've had a really good end to the year. Um, unfortunately, at the start, we got off to a bit of a rough start, having a uh, blown engine at the start, but we've had a really good end. Um, just like to say a massive thanks to Bristol Sport, Strawberry Racing, Trojan Fitness and Body Management. Excellent. And uh, your plans for next season? Uh, we're looking into some of the single-seater stuff, but not 100% confirmed yet, so we're not sure. OK, well, congratulations. Ending the year on the top step of the podium. And... Uh, Sam, uh, Sam, again, a, a fighting way to end the season. You've got the number one plate on your cart, but uh, it was good to have a good battle with you and Luke have, have been a, a real credit to the class all season. A lot of respect, a lot of really good, close, clean racing between the pair of you. Yeah, uh, today was no different, really, to um, the whole season. It was, uh, you know, me, Connor, Luke and Gary, we've, you know, we've been top four in pretty much all the races and we've always been fair with each other. It was the same again today. It was, um, it's nice that, even though the championship was over, we could still be fair and not have to take any risks. And I think that was that was nice to see as well, with the respect that we have for each other. And the next time you'll be on the track together, you'll have the Team GB race suits on. Yeah, 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 probably that'll be it, yeah. I mean, I'm here next weekend, but I don't know if they're here too. Um, yeah, that'll be it. And we'll be on the Sodi cart so, as well, so yeah. Well, congratulations, Sam. Today's senior Rotax winner, Connor Hall, and your 2015 senior Rotax champion, Sam Marsh. Congratulations to all of the champions we've seen in this programme. Next week, it's part two of this final round, the TKM and X30 classes. Don't miss it. We'll see you then.